Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. So this is another tutorial on how to move hair or capes. You can use it for dresses, clothes, anything that has the same kind of texture, um, just to show the audience that it's not, you know, solid. So I think it looks really cool when, you know, like the wind's like pushing against it. So for this tutorial, I'll be using one of my characters that I use for my skits. Uh, so she's supposed to represent Capricorn, if you guys uh, follow me. And just know that there's three parts to her hair. So that's why I'm using this character. She has three movements on her hair and uh, her dress is uh, another movement as well. The best thing about this character though is that um, when I'm animating her walking, I don't have to <laughs> animate the legs, so that's awesome. So we're gonna go down to the layer that has the most hair, like the main part. And we're gonna click on the wrapping tool in the actions tab. And you want less control for this because um, the more control you have, the more work you have to do. So uh, I'm gonna use the performance tool and you can see how I'm just like slowly moving the, her hair back and forth just to show like it's actually soft and not solid. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other part as well. So the more times you move her hair in different sections, the more realistic it'll look, but it really depends on what kind of iPad you have because it could crash. <laughs> I don't recommend having too many performance tool on a character. So this is the second movement on her left side. So you can see how wavy it starts to look when you do a second performance. Now we're gonna add another performance tool on her right side. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I, I think the less perfect it is, the more realistic it becomes. Um, so I'm just moving it back and forth. You can do it as fast as you can. This is based on how fast my hands are moving. This saves so much time, you guys. Like if you guys see my older videos, uh, I did have hair movements, but they were in a loop. It did not look as smooth as this. So this is awesome. Um, shout out to Procreate Dreams for this because I don't know any other apps that can actually do this. The performance tool is actually really good for other things too, like um, changing the color. I can go over that in another video. So something about this character is that the second strand of hair or I'm sorry, the third strand of hair that you see uh, behind her body. Um, so that one isn't part of the head group. So I have two groups total, the entire character, and then within that group, there's the head group, which contains the two hair, as you can see. Um, so that strand of hair in the back isn't part of the head because the body is you know, it's uh, behind the head already, and I wanted that strand of hair to be behind that body, behind the dress. Uh, so if I move her head too much, it does break the illusion that it's part of the head. So I don't, you know, move her head as, as much. Um, what you can also do is um, copy and paste that strand of hair that I just performed onto the back of the dress and that saves you a lot of time. You don't have to use the performance tool again. You can just copy and paste it. That's what I did here. Aside from doing this on people, you can actually do it on other things like bushes. You can do it on, you can do it on wings. So yeah, you can do it on pretty much anything that that's similar to hair, clothes, and anything that's like soft. Just to show the audience that it's not, your character is not entirely flat. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to this channel. It really help out my content. And I like to do more tutorials for you guys in the future. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. Also check out my other videos. Um, so the two videos I did previously was how to do superpowers. And the one before that was how to do facial expressions. So check out those videos if you haven't already. Also, I want to know if any of you guys are actually using Procreate Dreams. I know a lot of people were having negative um, reviews on the app itself because it was really new um, so let me know in the comments what you guys are actually using I know some people are using Toon Squid, uh, Flip a Clip and I know some of you are even animating on computers so that's pretty awesome but let me know what you guys are using so the next video idea that I'm probably gonna do is another superpower tutorial 
Um, the one I did previously was just laser beams and blasting. Um, the next one is going to be teleportation. So if you guys want to check out my next video, just stay tuned. Um, I want to be showing you guys how um, I animate disappearing or teleportation or reappearing. And I'm actually looking for some voice actors. Um, so if you guys are actually are into voice acting, just DM me on Instagram and just show me or give me a sample of your voice and I'll take a look at it.